Hey, it's Dave Altavilla for Hot Hardware. We are here early at uh, CES 2016 in Las Vegas, Nevada at the Lenovo suite. We're going to check out some uh, Lenovo consumer products, uh, specifically laptops. And we're going to start with a big boy first for you gamers in the audience. Uh, this thing is dialed in. It is the Lenovo IdeaPad Y900. It is a gaming targeted notebook to be sure. 17 inch, 17.3 inch full HD display, 1920 by 1080 IPS technology, anti-glare, um, so sort of a matte finish, a little bit of glare to it, but, but not bad. Uh, of course, rocking Windows 10 Home and Intel's 6th generation quad-core Core i7 processor. As you can see, we've actually got a little bit of uh, automatic uh, turbo boost overclocking going on. Um, up to a 64, up to 64 gigs of RAM on board, I should say, and up to 512 gig uh, SSD, PCI Express SSD, RAID capability as well, and a one terabyte hard drive capability as well. So all on board, uh, fast SSD storage as well as bulk storage, uh, standard hard drive storage. Um, you've got an NVIDIA GeForce GTX 980M mobile graphics chips with either four or eight gigabyte uh, RAM, or I should say, um, uh, frame buffer memory uh, configuration, and uh, stereo, JBL speaker, uh, stereo audio with a subwoofer, all kinds of stuff. This thing is dialed in for, for gamers and performance, and uh, you know, it's actually a very luxury, you know, sort of premium setup. Mechanical keyboard, believe it or not, and as you can see, it's illuminated right now in sort of a disco effect with lots of colors going across the screen. You can actually set those colors fixed into any one of these um, you know, specific colors, but we just have it in sort of this uh, cycle mode right now. But really nice mechanical keycaps, um, shaped, contoured, classic Lenovo style keycaps. Um, <clears throat> and of course the, I don't know if you can get in and see this shot here, you've got the turbo button. And that actually just, uh, you can click different um, overclock settings which will boost the GPU and CPU. We just went to a 95 watt envelope on the GPU from an 85 watt envelope. Uh, for example, so really nice uh, setup for gamers. It's a uh, it's a 10 pound bad boy. Definitely um, not something you're going to fly through the airport with. But if you want to get down and game on a uh, on a big, capable, powerful notebook, this is definitely it. Hello everyone, it's Marco Geppetto for Hot Hardware. I'm taking over from where Dave left off. We are still in the Lenovo suite at CES, and I have a few really nice thin and light machines to show you. So I'm gonna start way back here on the table. This is the Lenovo Yoga 900. We've already reviewed this model. It's being updated with some more uh, business class features, but if you wanna see a full review on the Yoga 900, come by hothardware.com. We've already got that posted. But here, right in front of it, we have something brand new and I think really beautiful. This is the Lenovo Yoga 900S. So this is an, an updated Yoga 900 model. It is actually one of, it's the thinnest convertible that's available at, I believe it was, let me double check here, less than half an inch thick. So this machine is based on a core, Intel Core M processor family, and it features that familiar Lenovo watch band hinge. Now you can see as I close it just how thin the machine is, and it's only 2.2 pounds, so it's really light in the hand. On this side we have uh, USB ports, including USB type C, another couple of ports on this side, power, headphone jack, another USB port. And now for the screen, you're looking at a 12.5 inch QHD screen, obviously running Windows 10. The machines can have up to eight gigabytes of RAM and a 512 gig PCI Express SSD. Now this particular machine is rated for up to 10 and a half hours of battery life during video playback. Um, just the colors too, I love this, this champagne color with the black. I think this machine is, is simply gorgeous. Starting price is 1099, availability starting in March of, of 2016. And now let me slide over to something a little more mainstream, but still nice and thin and light. This is the IdeaPad 710S. Now these machines, this, this one up top is the same machine, just a different color. These are based on Intel Core i processors um, with a 13.3 inch screen, but due to the really, really tight bezels, it's really like a 12 inch form factor here. So again, Windows 10 up to eight gigs of RAM in here with a 256 gig PCI Express SSD. But there's uh, optional Intel Iris graphics models and up to eight hours of battery life in this machine. Now, starting price is only $799, but it's really no compromises. It's thin and light. 
Um, you're not sacrificing any ports. You have JBL audio, um, magnesium alloy lid with an aluminum alloy um, touchpad area here, and it's you know got this nice beveled edge. Just all around good looking machine for a 79 starting price point. What's the weight on that again? Is sub three? Two, yes, 2.6 pounds, about a half an inch thick. Nice. So next up, I'm going to quickly show you the Lenovo Mix 700. This machine's been out for a while, but they are updating it with more business class features like TPM support. So I believe we have information on the Mix up on the site as well. Please check that out. And one more new machine right above it. This is the Lenovo IdeaPad 700. Now, this series of notebooks is going to come in two sizes. There's a 17.3 inch or a 15.6. This is the 17.3. These are also based on Intel Core i processors, the standard voltage processors. Memory up to 16 gigs, up to one terabyte hard drive or hybrid SSD plus PCI Express SSD options. Um, you also have discrete NVIDIA graphics options in, in this machine up to GTX 950. Um, Built-in card readers, JBL audio. And these are also starting at only the 799 price band and should be available in the June timeframe of this year. And here's the first product that we're doing together. Um, basically, what we have is our ultra premium desktop. Uh, so, taking the Y900 and tuning it up. So, it's got dual graphics cards, overclocking. So uh, we've in incorporated Chroma into this. So, you see the Chroma technology from Razer, um, and the lighting is both in the front and the back of the, of the uh, actual desktop. The other unique thing is that we're actually hard bundling the Razer accessories with this product so that you have a more customized experience right out of the box. Um, on top of that, what you see here is our new 27 inch gaming monitor, and this is the Razer edition. So, what makes this different, we've got two versions just the regular gaming 27. This one um, actually has Chroma integrated as well. So, actually, let me do it so that you can see it in the camera. Um, it's got lighting in here, oh, sure. so you have ambient lighting yeah. against the wall when um, yeah. you're playing. So all of this can be completely synced across, you know, however you want to do it within your gaming or if you want to just customize it to your own color collaboration. <coughs> so, um, so that's the the 27 DA. Uh, it's got the G-Sync, so. It's got up to 140 hertz. Um, it's going to automatically correct so that you don't have any ripping or tearing um, when you're in your gaming environment. Um, really tried to put together a, a premium gaming experience out of the box. What was the resolution on that screen? Um, it's full HD. Full HD. Yeah. And it looks like you've got a pair of NVIDIA GeForce. Yes, yeah, we got GTX uh, 970 4 Gs in there. Okay. And this box is, um, you know, tools design, so you know, comes out of out of out of the gate at twenty two ninety nine. Uh, definitely a premium experience. But if you wanted to mod it or upgrade it, really easy to, uh, to do that. Um, so what you see here is the first kind of step in in our partnership with Razer in terms of uh, coming together and, and trying to drive innovation. We see this is really uh, a good uh, symbiotic relationship in terms of you know. They've got a strong gaming base. They've got a lot of experience and accessories, some of the best in the world. We've got scale. We've got um, uh, you know hardware. We've got a lot of expertise there. Sure. And the and the CPU is water cooled or air cooled? Um, air cooled. Yep. And then also one of the things on here that we're doing is you'll see this Lenovo Nerve Center. It's in the, all the gaming systems. So the Y series is our unique gaming series. Um, this. Underneath this is where you would control the lighting, so some of the Razer uh, software would reside underneath this, so you can get very customized. The Turbo Boost, um, you can go ahead and, and, and drive your CPU, CPU um, performance here. Um, and you can also optimize it around uh, your network priorities in terms of what you're gaming, so making sure that other uh, software or applications aren't drawing off your uh, and, and also with the uh, metal fitting, this kind of ID. And uh, this is only a 2.2 liter chassis. Oh, so we, we want this one looks nice in your living room besides your fancy TV. Uh, and then you can leverage it to uh, play the game or uh, watch the big movies. And 
Inside, we we building very strong performance. This one support uh, the six uh, generation Intel Core 7 CPU up to 16 memory and support both the HDD and the SSD together. And also, we have a discrete graphic card uh, upgrade to NVIDIA GTX 750 Ti. <laughs> so this is very strong. And whatever is a 4K 2K video or the, the heavy gaming, that'll be no problem. What's and the model again? I'm sorry. This is uh, the model called Lenovo Idea Center 16S. Got it. Yeah. And if you don't have a big TV, but you want a large screen experience, how will you do? So we give you another choice. This is where we uh, a short distance uh, uh, projector. This one, we can allow you within the 2.4 meter, they can screen out like a uh, Henry inch. And uh, we use the the DI is uh, DRP chipset. The brightness is like 220 lumen and uh, uh, resolution is 720p. Yeah. So uh, and this one also can work uh, wirelessly. So you, you see that there are there are two major user scenarios. First one, if you put this one on the on the, on the machine, then just through the through this pin, they can just uh, leverage one adapter to charge in both the uh, get the power from the machine to the to the, to the projector. Right? Huh. But if you, you, you want to some want to use it somewhere else in your home, and uh, maybe there's uh, a white wall there where you want to just project on the roof, so. Uh, then uh, you just need another another charging, another adapter, so you can move it. Within the room, we use the solution called, this is Wi-Fi, but uh, this is another uh, technology called YHD. So that, that, that one that work, uh, works on the 60 hertz of bandwidth. So that, that's a much clearer the bandwidth, so you can guarantee the data transfer will be very smooth. So will be no leg out, so those kind of things. We will we, we play the uh, video. So you see that we can, know, we can use this one everywhere, and also we we can support uh, any uh, other uh, uh, devices you can just uh, plug in and just uh, make, make this work. So what kind of range, how far away can you be? Uh, it's just uh, like the 10 meters, uh, it depends on your house, the, the, uh, if, if there's some uh, objective that's between uh, the, the machine and the objector. Uh, objector. Yeah. So also, uh, this one we have a, a, sp a speaker inside, but it's not a very good speaker because uh, the size is only 0 0.7 meter. So, uh, but if, if you're not a, a big fan of the... A big fan of the sound, so I think it's also very convenient to just to use. Yeah, it'd be great for the office, right? Too. I mean, projects, presentations, and whatnot. Like Amy said, the the premise is, well, is more of the value-oriented phone. Um, you start with a five-inch screen, full HD. Uh, and on top of that, you have an eight-megapixel Sony sensor on the front and then the selfie flash. So this is definitely meant for taking selfies, especially in like indoors or those new light environments where you really just can't get a good image. Um, we back that up with a 13 megapixel camera in front and it comes in two colors, uh, this pearl white and midnight blue. And it's kind of a little bit of a curved ergonomic back, so it feels a little more comfortable in your hand than a lot of like more sleep phones. Uh, inside we have a MediaTek processor, uh, 2 gigabytes of RAM, uh, Lollipop 5.1, uh, 16 gigabytes storage, so it's still a very solid phone for the price point. So $199? $199 price point. And is that going to be available in the U.S. or no? No. Uh, okay.